from Mustaka from Cebu City. In case you haven't noticed, I'm in desperate need of a haircut. Everything is really long. I'm going for the castaway look, but it's time to trim that up. I found a barber shop here that is also kind of like a little convenience store. Maybe he has like snacks and whatnot. The price is $1 USD. And well, we're gonna go for it. Hello, brother. All right. I'm gonna get a haircut. I don't even know what haircut on. Oh, you could do all of these? Like, all right, let me see. Whoa, you have many options here. Which one should we go for? I don't know. Which one should, what do you think I should do? You could pick my haircut. You can choose for me. Which one do you think would look nice? Which one? Number two, three. Oh. Hair is long, but it's not as Small hair. Number 11. Number 11. Number 11. I like it. Let's do it. Number 11. All right. I think I might have chose 11 if I had to. All right. Put my glasses down. We're going to go for this haircut. Going in, wrapped up with the paper around the neck. Check out the shop, he has his brushes there, all his equipment, water going in. Let's see what else he has here scissors, television, sneakers. He also sells his snacks and drinks, it's pretty nice. I hope the TV doesn't give me a copyright. Cleaning off the machine there. Oh, nice. Alright. It's been disinfected, or maybe that's oil for it to go. That's it, he's going in. So basically, I think he's gonna fade up the sides a bit and then do something to the top because it's very long. We'll see how it goes. If you walk around the Philippines, you'll notice a lot of the guys have very nice, fresh haircuts. It's, I think, it's a country where it's cultural to, to have a nice haircut like all the time. They're very cheap as you saw it. This is a shop and it's one dollar USD for the haircut. And they do them really well. I remember that from my last time here in the Philippines. The fading, they do it really, really well. I don't know what it is. Maybe because it's a basketball country. A lot of the NBA players have really nice fades. So I think maybe they try to do those haircuts or something. I'm not sure. But he check it out. He's already like working on the fading on the side. It's an art form to do a proper fading on the side. It really is. It's not just passing the machine there and trying to like blend the side. It takes his work. He's trimming down my beard. I think on the picture it has like a very unique beard where the top is like the top part of the beard is trimmed up and then the bottom stays longer. Interesting to see how that's gonna look. I never had that. Anyways, look at the fading. Not even done, but I already think it looks good. All right, so yeah, I think those are the special scissors that chop hair off in a way that it, once it's gelled up, I think it makes it look like there's more volume. You see a type of haircut you can get for a buck? Trimming down the beard now. I 
How many years you cut hair? Thirteen. Thirteen? Yeah. Trece? Trece años? The numbers in, in Filipino and Spanish are the same, so... I know them all. Thirteen years experience. He's a beast. Going in, time to take some hair off the top. Finishing up, adding the the last touches. We have some more characters in the the room now. I think they're waiting to get a haircut as well. It's powder time. trim included it does not get cheaper than that I promise give him a little extra though just because he's a beast and a really nice guy here you go brother the rest is for you thank you all right oh I'm going out the wrong way <laughs> I was gonna hit that I was like all right all right Alright, everybody's waiting to get her hair cut. I was the only one. There's another shop right here. I'll show you in a moment. Everybody's waiting there, so I decided to come here because there was no line. Not bad. What do you think? This is only a dollar, the beard included. In every single other country I've been in, the beard is separate. Here it's included, and he did a really good job. Now, I did notice he didn't put like any alcohol or any kind of like sanitizer after, so. It's alright, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go shower in a bit maybe. To go clean up. But yeah, the, oh alright, people's clothes are drying out here, that's what it is. Hello. This is the other shop. Yeah, he looks like he's still busy. Anyways, I think that's the cheapest haircut I've gotten with that type of quality. Only one dollar for that. Not bad at all really nice barber too anyways i think that's it for this video guys 
this is a haircut here in Cebu. I don't think they have like street barbers on the side of the road here. But this is the closest going to get to something like that here in the Philippines. Not bad. What do you think? I like it. Anyways, catch on the next one.